To some, the area of homage watches is a slippery slope, and I'm not one to disagree. How do you review a watch that is so clearly a derivative of another design that points for originality are immediately dismissed? Well, let me flip that issue on its head and ask you this. How do you justify to a normal person that a watch you're interested in will cost you $10,000 if you can find it at retail, but likely more like $13,000 through ruthless scalpers that take advantage of certain unfortunate realities in the watch world? It is actually quite ridiculous that well-made but ultimately straight-up tour watches should cost this amount of money and be impossible to obtain without hoops and dubious waitlists. This leaves you with two approaches, save and wait for the real thing, or buy something that is quite similar that will at the very least give you an idea of if you actually would genuinely love wearing a watch like this every day. Who knows, you might actually get bored of the look, or you may fall in love with what you compromised on. That is likely to happen here. Boltony makes incredible quality watches and ironically far more understated than the obvious inspiration behind. You get a discreet, almost invisible logo and two lines of text rather than in your face chronometer this or status symbol logo that. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with the latter. Lord knows I'm hoping to obtain one one day but I sure do appreciate understated approaches and this is one of those. And it's 39mm. And it's $229 before any discounts. And you can get it with a Japanese or Swiss movement. Let's check it out. As I mentioned, this particular model is these days either slightly larger or smaller, but the Boltony S4035AB is the perfect size of 39mm diameter. It's 48.6mm lug to lug, and the lug width is 20mm, so easy to fit to this or any of your favourite straps lying around. It's 12.7mm thick and weighs 141 gram on this bracelet, sized up for me, and we have a reassuring water resistance of 200 meters. Maybe the only bad thing you'll have to say about this one is the 14 approach, but it's more of a color choice than approximating an ancient antique store find, and I like it. I find the white of the inspiration behind this a little harsh, but all the details on the dial white too. As mentioned, the understated logo blends into the black background, as does the automatic and water resistance at just above the 6. And other than the minute track, there are no other printed details. Instead, we get the usual, way better than they have any right to be at this price point, applied indices that are a Boltony classic. They hold up even at extreme macro, and sitting against this matte velvet black dial, they are extra noticeable. This watch comes with a brown dial too, and I expect that to be equally easy on the eye. Legibility here is extremely good, and the large clear hands makes it all about the time when you look down. No in-your-face unnecessary details, date complications, or even a distracting bezel. This is time only at its purest. There is plenty of loom here as well, which we'll have a look at later, but trust me here, you will not struggle in the dark either. The usual utterly brilliant dome sapphire crystal is used and a polished fixed bezel. The AR coating is very good, once again, so even when reflections are plenty, that and reflecting hands and indices will help. This case is particularly brilliant. Having handled plenty of Tudors and Rolex in my time, their velvety feel is legendary, and this is very, very close. And of course, at this price point, I do not care at all about scratching the curvy and gorgeous lux. 316L feels different, of course, to the grey that Rolex uses of 904L, and there is no way around that. The Sign B crown is a good size and easy to use. It screws down, and getting a proper grip is no problem at all. The back of the watch, as per all Boltony watches, is plain and ready for your message should you want to add one from the factory or yourself. As I mentioned, this one has the NH38 Seiko movement at the $229 cost. 
You can also spec it up with a Celita SW200 at $368, but it is tempting to stick to the NH38, which is good enough and easy and cheap to replace if need be. The bracelet is one area where it is immediately obvious that this is an homage. Don't get me wrong, it's a good looking bracelet with no sharp edges and the Oyster style with its good quality screw pins and push button release clasp that's also discreetly signed leaves little or no room for complaints really. Ok, it's only got 3 micro adjusts and no quick release spring bars, but it's still better than most bracelets I've come across. It's just that the Rollers group makes the best bracelets around, in my opinion. They are so incredibly soft to touch and comfortable to wear that they are simply unmatched. But hey, you saved yourself thousands of dollars here, so go buy some nice straps to try it on. The loom is really good, as I mentioned. I fully appreciate that homages aren't for everyone. But I do think myself that they have a place for trying out a particular design before you make the decision to potentially save and buy the original for yourself. But as I mentioned, when you get a product that is so so good for the money paid, there is of course the risk that you stick with that and spend your money on something else such as food, bills or even travel. All things we could argue are ever so slightly more important than a watch. I would love a Rolex Explorer one day. I love the design and that hasn't changed after handling this lovely Boltony watch. If anything, it's almost made that desire stronger. So for those of you that feel that these things are a pointless and questionable exercise, I don't think that there is any harm done here, but quite the opposite. What do you think? Is this Boltony something you'll be ordering or will you just save up for the real thing instead? Let me know in the comments and thank you as always for watching. I'll catch you next time.